Research and innovation in Futuris. Aviation safety, it's a worldwide concern. This is the story of how European researchers want to prevent further catastrophes with the help of textiles tested in explosive ways. At a British research centre for experimental blasts, a unique experiment is underway. In this test, we want to measure how effective our prototype is in containing the explosion and the fragments it will emit, along with the subsequent expansion of gases. Researchers have developed a textile container designed to prevent the effects of small bombs hidden inside luggage, which are then carried in aeroplane cargo holds. Here we've got a typical luggage um, that people take, take in aeroplanes on the holidays, so lots of uh, clothes and things. Inside here we've got um, a surrogate IED, um, typical of uh, the kind of threats that we face on aircraft these days. So the small charge typical to bring down an aircraft. Uh, we're going to close this up in a, short, in, in a short while and pop it into the container. The first explosion barely affects the prototype, developed under a European Union research project called Flybag. Three, two, one. The container has been constructed with a combination of different layers of technical textiles. Each has its own characteristics. Some textiles have been positioned in different places to withstand the penetration of fragments flying out during the explosion. Some other textiles have been designed to be able to expand in a controlled way so the container can stretch without tearing itself apart. Besides that, we've produced an internal coating with two aims. The first is to contain the gases generated during the explosion. The second is to strengthen the resistance of the whole structure so that the coating becomes a sort of flexible composite inside the container. Damaged baggage is taken out, new baggage is put inside. The amount of explosive is increased by 50% in a second test. The bag still holds tight. Here comes the explosion and inside the luggage, and the luggage raises the whole container up in the air, and then comes the pressure from the explosion and blows the container up. And now you see the luggage falling down again inside the container and the air pressure that has blown up the container is now leaking out and you can see that there is a small fire starting inside the luggage and soon you will see the smoke coming out through the zip but this will just be for a very short while because it's a little oxygen inside the fly bag so the luggage is not burning for long at all. Firing point to sentries report. Eventually, a more powerful explosive charge will provide the ultimate test. But first, we head to Sardinia, Italy. Here, in a maintenance hangar at Olbia Airport, a similar container has been installed inside a commercial plane. trying to fit it into this Airbus 319 to see if it fits the right way so we can load luggage into it. Scientists have indeed come here to understand the realities of routine baggage handling. 
in questo caso il, il progetto di ricerca è un progetto di ricerca. This is a truly applied research project. We really wanted to produce a prototype that could allow airlines to test the effective implementation of the whole system. So we've produced a full-scale prototype and tested how useful it could be to airlines. Which is to say, can it be easily loaded with baggage and can it be easily operated without the need for particular skills? Airline companies will be the main end users of the textile container and the local carrier has played its role in developing the prototype for a reason. Air safety is already tight on commercial flights. We helped to develop this container because we wanted to offer travelers a new tool to guarantee their safety. Un uh, ulteriore elemento di garanzia per il passeggero. Back to the UK, the ultimate test is ready. The initial explosive charge has been almost doubled. Researchers hide in a nearby bunker, the scientific slow motion camera is ready. The bag still holds. Yeah. Obviously we wouldn't seek to protect against the maximum amount of um, explosive that you could possibly get into a bag. Uh, so that'd be circa 20 kilos, which would certainly be enough to bring down an aircraft and many domestic buildings in fact. Um, so we have to balance how much explosive we could protect against, um, against how much weight we'd be adding to the aircraft. Lockerbie was uh, less than uh, half a kilo, um, which brought down a 747. Um, and recently, uh, the DHL attempted attacks were a few hundred grams in uh, toner packages. Um, this system would seem to be able to protect against that kind of attack. Ah, oh, please. The successful testing is a first step, researchers say, to ensuring that bomb-proof textiles could soon really improve aviation safety in our increasingly crowded worldwide skies.